kuona sasa sijui kama palikoseka wapi pengine wanaweza kutueleza maana kulikuwa na mazingira mazuri ya kufanya biashara uh, kuna takwimu ambazo zimetolewa hata na FKI nadhani wakisema kwamba kuna makampuni ama kuna wa Kenya takriban 1070 ambao ambao wameachishwa kazi kwa katika serikali yako mshinwa palikoseka nini haswa pale mpaka mazingira kufanya kazi yakawa magumu kiasi cha kwamba asilimia 384 ya wa Kenya wanasema kwamba maisha ni magumu na hizi ni takwimu ambazo ziko zaidi ya hamsini kwa mara ya kwanza katika mkenya kusema kwamba maisha ni magumu na pesa haionekani na tukisalia hapo mr president because it's just based on what she said are you aware that 87% of kenyans your people mr president that is 9 out of 10 have opted to reduce on personal expenditure because of the current economy what to wana opt kutokula which is what we're talking about uchumi ya tumbo they are forgoing food because of the current um, situation good i want you to read a clip or even a text it was in the standard 10 months after kibaki became president the same number of kenyans said nak and president kibaki had made their life worse than ever because kibaki decided to make the right decisions not popular decisions right 10 months after he was president we are in the same space but let me tell you the following that um, it is true. We are facing a difficult situation. We are facing a difficult situation because that is the global situation. But are we doing something about it? Yes, we are doing something about it. Is it bearing results? Yes, it's bearing results. The price of food is coming down because of our intervention, by God's grace. The global economy is appreciating what Kenya is doing. Let me go to FKE. FKE said 70,000 Kenyans have, have, have lost jobs or have, have gotten out of jobs. Part of those 70,000 Kenyans, for your information, are teachers who are working in private schools who we have hired as government. Now they are teaching in, uh, we have hired 56,000 teachers into, into, uh, as teachers. We have hired an additional 120,000 people working in our housing program. We have a plan to make sure that we keep increasing. We have only 31, 31 sites of uh, our housing uh, program. We have another 34 that will be rolled out uh, uh, the first quarter of next year. By the end of next year, we will have between 200 and 250,000 Kenyans working. So the economy is adjusting towards where we want to go. We do not want to be an export destination for others. We also want to produce. What, what we should be producing. Quavo. And that is why we are, we, are, we are working on the difficult patch for now so that we can stabilize the future. Kwa hivyo mwishimu wa raisi unakubali kwa mba wa, wa Kenya alifu sabini kweli walifutwa kazi ama walifutwa kazi. Sikubali, wawo ndi wamesema. Mimi nimekuambia. Na wakandikuwa na serikali. Kumanisha ni makampuni ya lio humu pegine ya lifunga wakatoka ndo wakandikuwa wakandikuwa na serikali ama hawa walikuwa ni wakutuka. Wacha sasa ni kuambie wale wamesema, wale wa, yale wamesema. Mm -hmm. What I have told you is what I can vouch. Mm -hmm. Have I hired 56,000 teachers? Yes. Are there 120,000 people working in our housing program? Yes. Mm. So as to uh, what, are, what are, uh, on FKE side, we need to verify the figures. Uh, Mr. Mr. President, uh, Sam, just uh, one second. You have talked about pain and that Kenyans need to, you know, appreciate the pain and the process like uh, uh, President Kibaki did. Um, and State House and where you sit, you set the tone uh, for... for whatever government agencies and officers below you do. That's correct. And you are asking Kenyans to be patient. You're asking Kenyans to tighten their belt. But if you look at your administration and state house to, to be specific and other officials, look at foreign travel has been up 26%, just this um, ending quarter to 1.1 billion. And Kenyans are feeling quite Taxed. And the hustlers that you represent are looking around the numbers that we are discussing today and they're wondering, um, where have we missed this? Because on one end, you're asking Kenyans to be, you know, to, 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 to bear with government, to tighten their belts. The Treasury is saying things are bad. You're saying you're preventing us from, you know, going off the cliff. But on the other end, the extravagance in government um, is really still, still heavy. How do you reconcile this to the situation? I will answer you this way. Go and look at the budget. We have cut by 50% the budget for travel and entertainment, 50%, right? In the supplementary budget, just go and check the figures. That is about 11 billion shillings that we have reduced. 
Have I traveled more than the, the former presidents? Yes. And I have traveled not as a tourist. I have traveled to sort out the matters of Kenya. If I didn't package the, what I have packaged to salvage our country from going over the cliff, we'd be talking a different story. Would you rather I sit in Nairobi and see Kenya go down, or would you rather I go to America, and America has really supported us in making sure that we structure a, a deal with uh, World Bank and IMF? Would I travel to China to make sure that we structure the bilateral deal that will see all our roads come back? Would, I, would you rather I don't travel or I travel to South Korea to sort out the problem you see in our, in our, in our, in our electricity space, that we now have money to do what the investment we have not done in the last 10 years in our, in our energy transmission? The reason why you find uh, the blackouts you know, and is the challenge we have with our 